Here are the flow numbers for the heads. Now, remember, I flow these on a 4310 bore, no exhaust pipe. Um, if you also have to remember that there's a, on a big block Chevy, there's a long port and then there's a short port on the intake. All the exhaust ports are the same. On the big block Chevy though, there is a long and a short port. This is the flow numbers from the long port. This is the flow numbers from the short port and intake. And I only flowed one exhaust. Cause like I said, it's the same. This is from the Sains Digital 680. I did something kind of weird here on the exhaust side, but the intake was pretty consistent. I did flow on the super flow and I'll show you that in just a minute too. Now, numbers I really like to care about are four, six, and then peak. If I look at the 400 number, 291 on the long port, 280 on the short port, 280 port, um, sorry, the short port's just not as quite as good. And there's some things I probably could have done to change that. It's good, but the short port's always about 20 CFM less than the, in, than the long port. Most companies advertise, of course, the long port. But 291 and even 280 on the 4310 board that's not notched is pretty good. Really good. At 600, 356, and 340, that's really good numbers. And it peaks actually at 800, 900 lift at 394. Really good flowing head for, the, for this bore size. On the exhaust side, it picked up quite a bit from stock. Because I think stock only did 245. Now it's actually flowing 304. But see how it makes this dramatic jump right here at 9. I'm not sure what's going on there with that bench because it didn't do it on the Superflow. Here are the Superflow numbers. Same bore, everything, I didn't change anything. I just put it on the other bench. And you can tell the Superflow reads a little bit lower in some areas and higher in others. So like for instance, this says 283 on that 400 and 281, which is, it's better on the long port or short port and worse on the long. So that's kind of weird. That usually never happens. Usually that bench, the Sains is lower. Um, 600, we had 359 and 343, which is mm, pretty close. Peak though, it peaked all the way at 100 at one inch of valve lift at 402 and 386 compared to 393 and 372. So as you can tell, these numbers are um, different, even though the photo on the same board and everything. Exhaust, 282 is where it peaked, the 284 peak. Um, it didn't really make a dramatic jump. Still considerably better than it was stock because of that ridge. You can go back and watch the, because um, this head was the one I used for the flow test when on the how much difference does an ASCAS port flow? This is what I used. And it was the worst exhaust port was actually from this head. And that's the same one that I used. And same with the intake port. And I think they flow 356 stock. So it's a gain about 40 CFM uh, on both. So that's a really good pickup. This thing easily is gonna make some big power. The numbers look solid. So it should run really, really well. Anyway, thanks for watching. Remember, I'm no Superman. Hey guys, this is Eric Weingartner with Weingartner Racing. Today's video is about the ported AFR 305 big block Chevy head. I should say my ported AFR 305 big block Chevy head. If you haven't seen this video before or seen this head before, go back and watch this video when I compare the differences between flow and an ASCAST head because this is one of the heads that I used. Now, a customer asked me to port this head. Um, well, actually, he ordered this head from me all ported. I had to put on a 496 and in case you're wondering i've when it comes to 496s i usually choose between about two to three heads uh, if it's a mild deal where the stock headers are um, kind of important then what i'll do is i'll take a brodex race right 270 oval port and i will port that larger and that's a really nice head it ends up 290 cc is really great stock exhaust if they're still wanting but they can use an aftermarket header then i'll step up to um, an afr 265 and i'll port that one but however, if they're like, you know what, I'm full on race. You know, I, I, got, I got stuff to do. I got to beat some people. I need to, you know, lay down a law. Then I step up to this. This is the AFR 305 as cast head, but then I hand port this one. When it's all said and done, it ends up about 320 cc's. It will fluctuate about five cc's depending on how I adjust, th adjust things for different combinations. However, it's bad to the bone. When it comes to 496 and you're on a 4310 bore, this head is, once it's poured like this, it is tough to beat. It's a nasty deal. Some would argue, well, no, that's too big of a head. Nope. Um, if you go back and look at my Engine Masters uh, videos, one of them was a 477 I had done, and I did this exact head, but I put a larger intake valve in because it was a 4.5 bore, but 3.75 stroke. So still small engine. Same porting, it flowed about the same as this one. And that one made right about 800 horsepower at home and like 777 at, at the dyno competition. And it made quite a bit of torque. So it wasn't a turd in any way as far as torque down low. 
on a 496 i've had customers hit 880 um with this on uh, pretty mild builds not high compression or nothing like that so these have the capabilities for um make it some pretty big power on a 496. however if you're doing stuff with say i'm gonna you know i'm gonna really heavy vehicle and i'm gonna street drive it most of the time and i'm only going to strip every now and then this probably isn't the head for you it's not that it's soft on the street because quite frankly everybody's worried about the torque on the street your tires aren't holding it anyway on this deal you put this on the street it's it'll roast the tire just as much well not as much as the race right 270 port oval port that i'll port um the difference is with the drag strip this really shines really shines compared to the other ones i mentioned um, it's just on the street, it won't have quite as much torque, but more than most streets can handle anyway. So, but there you go. It does require though, you gotta make sure your headers can work with the raised exhaust port because this the one does have it. But anyway, let's talk about it. So this has a 225 intake valve. I did not enlarge it any at all. It's still a 188 on the exhaust. However, the valve job did change from factory. It's a 50 degree intake and a 50 degree exhaust. Um, I use that a lot on these big blocks because most of them have more lifts than small blocks. It seems to work really well. I know someone's gonna be like, well, doesn't that kill low lift flow? It hurts at 100.1 lift and 0.2 lift. It is worse by far than the 45. At 0.3 and up, it's this, well, 0.3, it's the same. Four, it's better. Five and up, it's just walking away. And as far as longevity, I've had customers run this 50 degree valve job right here doing drag week for many seasons and not have an issue. However, that really is more dependent on how um, your valve train is as far as stability and control. In other words, if you're going in a valve float, it, this 50 degree valve job is gonna tear it faster than 45, but it's still gonna tore up at 45 as well. Anyway, really nice head. If you could tell, I did port through where the head bolt hole is. That's what this is. Let me see if I can get my little flashlight here if it's got any life left in it, and it doesn't, so you can't see it, but I guess you can. That's normal. The head bolt was actually right there. As long as you put sealer on the bottom, it's not gonna be an issue. I do not sleeve that hole. I do on small blocks, not on the big block because it doesn't lead anywhere else. This is the long port and this is the short port. The long port usually flows more than the short port and that's no, no difference here. Just the way it enters, one's entering this way towards the wall. This one's entering towards the center. Um, I will give you flow numbers for both. I have to say on a 4310 bore, this thing is bad. I mean, it is amazing. So. I'm gonna save you some time. Um, let me show you some other parts of views of the head real quick because I know somebody asked me. There's the exhaust ports. Um, the accents are not larger from what they are from the factory. It just works in different areas inside the port itself, especially on the short side. And if you watch that video about the ASCAST head, you'll notice it left a huge ridge there that's been removed. That Now the intake side, flip it, sorry. The opening's a bit bigger. This is the same as an AFR 315. So it's a little bit bigger than what it came stock, but not much. And it matches up better. But anyway, there's that. Let me show you flow numbers. 